All right, so what did you shoot when, we, when you first started coming to the, coming to the lessons? Mm, low 90s, something like that. All right. Where are you at right now? Um, mid to low 70s. All right. And you just qualified for what tournament did you just qualify for? Um, qualifying for the Pro-Am and Team San Antonio. You already qualified, though, right? Qualified yeah. Last round you shot? Last round I shot 71. Very nice. All right. How much distance have you added since you started the program? Good 30, 40 yards. Very nice. Least. Short game a little bit better? Short game's a little better. Ball striking's improved a lot. I can, I can really tell it on the bad days if my ball striking got better. You know, on the bad days, I still hit it good. Yeah. It's a little off, but it's always solid. When I saw you at the tour event this year, did that help you at uh, Houston when we were oh, down there yeah. watching Wes? Did you watch Jordan Spieth? I know you watched yeah, Dustin I watch Johnson. I watched yeah. Dustin Johnson. I watched Jordan Spieth. I sat at the range. Dustin was practicing beside uh, West Short that week, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. So you, did you get to watch him play at all, or did? Uh, I watched West play a couple holes. I mean, did you watch Dustin no, Johnson? I didn't get to watch Dustin play okay. Holes. I sat and watched. I watched pretty much everybody come in from the round, go out and come in from the round, and watch them on the range. Just cool. So Smooth. Control, yeah. yeah, you're right. That was one of the things you took away from it, huh? Oh, yeah, a lot. Even Dustin Johnson, when he was practicing beside Wes, you know, I was watching him, and you could just see it was just no effort, and he was just absolutely pounding the ball. A little baby fade. Mm -hmm. Very nice. His trajectory is it's crazy. Yeah. How low it goes and how long it stays in the air. Yes, it is. And Wes just yeah, Wes just he's a he's a machine, man. He's just unbelievable. This last one did his iron. He's he's gonna make a fortune on the champions tour. He's fifty now, you know. You know, he did all that playing, you know, when we worked together and uh, we went to that event, even into that going into that event. He's been six years since he played a competitive event. Really? Yeah. He played in Tampa and he played some uh, he played Hawaii and Tampa and a couple others, but before Tampa it had been like six years before he'd even played a competitive tournament. And he comes out and he makes seven, uh, makes seven out of eight cuts on the web.com. And he, I think he made around 40% of his cuts this year on the PGA Tour. That's not playing. With a, with, a, with a putter, in his words, that was not very good. Yeah. That's, that's called, it's called puring the ball, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're one of those guys, man. You're starting to be. What's the lowest round you ever shot? Um, 64. Very nice. We have uh, three juniors now. We had a girl that shot 63, 65, 67 in her last event. And then we had one of our other juniors in the AJGA event shot 64 this year. 64, 71, and, uh, and didn't even win. He got second. And then uh, you shot 64, so that's awesome. You shot in a tournament too, right? Or is it uh, – was it – it was, was a, just a really major round. I, shot set, I think my low count of the turn was like 70. Okay, that's still good. All right, man, that's awesome. Very good.